Well, hey there, guys. Today I got two padlocks here for you. These padlocks are going to be from American. Uh, they're standard Walker combination padlocks. You can find these in just about any high school. American makes them, and Master Lock makes them. They're for uh, they're used in schools uh, where you need to lock up stuff in a locker. Gyms have them where you work out at, and uh, they're all over the place. Uh, it's just a standard combination lock. What you find with these though is if you turn them over, they have a keyway. So if it has a keyway, it can be picked open. Um, I'm just going to use a tension wrench here on the because the keyway is so uh, small. A lot of times, I will use a tension wrench that has been ground down. Let's see if we can give you a look at that. Maybe there's a look at it. It was just a standard tension wrench, and the tip has been ground down just a little bit versus a standard one. Let's see if I can get a standard one on there at the same time show you the difference maybe there's a look at the standard tension wrench and there's a look at the one that's been ground down just a little bit as you can see they just took a little bit of material off that helps when you go into narrow keyways yeah so I'll be using the tension wrench that's been ground down just to give myself a little bit of an advantage so not practice up not practiced at lock picking as much as I used to be. Um, if you can get a standard tension wrench in there, you can actually just pick the lock open. But it's been been a while uh, for me with these locks. So you go in. You want to make sure you get your pick in. Go all the way to the back of the keyway. And then as you start to bring your pick out, all you do, all you want to do is just rock your pick forward. Use real light tension and the pins should just set as you get them up there to the shear line there it is that one has been picked open yeah it's that easy it's not it's not hard at all these locks make really good beginner locks uh to practice picking on so there's that one and turn that back put that up there this lock here same lock yeah american combination lock should be able to pick this one open um, this one you might be able to hear the pin set try just a little bit heavier tension so you guys can hear the clicks as they set in place alright I got my pick all the way to the back of the keyway I'm applying tension it's going to pull my pick out and uh, rock my pick up and down as I do There you go. I'm not sure if you heard it, but I heard about three pins set there. Let's try it again. Maybe. I can get my pick in the keyway. Okay. Now it's going to fight me. Alright, I got my pick all the way to the back of the keyway. Like I said, I'm just going to pull it out and I'm just going to use a rocking motion, just like that. I'm going to apply a little bit of tension. I want to put a little bit more tension on here than I should so you can hear the pins click into place. There's one. Two. Three. I think I just felt that third one. Didn't make much noise though. And there's the fourth one right there. Sometimes pins make a lot of noise. Sometimes they don't. You can normally fill them uh, through your tension wrench and fill them off the, the tip of your pick. Um, there it is. Picked open again. Uh, the sequential order of these pins, um, what it feels like to me is there's definitely four pins in here. I don't have the key. Uh, these locks didn't come with a key. I wish I had a key to show you guys, but I don't. Um, but... Um, there's four pins in here, I think. There's either three or four. I think there's four pins in here. The sequential order for this lock... So I think sometimes people get confused when you say three, four, this one set, second one set. They don't... Uh, your, your, your chambers are numbered normally five through one, this being the bow of the key. 
or this being where your tension wrench and uh, your picks are. Uh, they're normally or ordered numbered 5 through 1 and on commercial locks it goes I think 5 through 1 depending on if you're going bow to tip or tip to bow that's why I always call out bow to tip or tip to bow in the numbers but a lot of times what you'll have happen is you'll have the fourth pin set and the third pin will set second first and then the fifth one will set or it could be a uh, the third one will set, the first one will set, the fifth one will set, and the fourth one will set. I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, it doesn't go in numeric order. So just because you have a lock and you got five, four, three, two, one uh, for the pen chambers, doesn't mean the pens are going to set in that order. Pens don't set in, that, in a specific uh, order according to the numbers of the chambers. They set because of the holes and how they're drilled in the plug and I'll try making a video that explains it a little bit more clear but on this lock right here there's four pins to it and if you go in here and again I want to apply a little bit more attention than I need to just passed over one pin working on this one that was the third one second That was the first. I'll go all the way back. Make sure I get back to here to the keyway. To the back of the keyway. Get to find that last pin. Pick him up. There it is. And the lock opens. So this lock, the sequential order would be three, two, one, and then you gotta go all the way back to the keyway again. To the back of the keyway and find that fourth pin and push him up. So I'm not sure if some people are aware of that. Uh, locks don't pick in a sequential. They do pick in a sequential order, but it's not a numeric order. Um, so wasn't sure. And I'll try making a video of why that is about the plug and how the holes are drilled and what determines your sequential order that the locks will pick in. But uh, there it is, picked open. Uh, it's going to be the American combination padlocks. And like I said, I got two of them. Uh, I think Bill sent me these. Um, I've messed with these a little bit before. I think I've mas messed with the Master uh, before. The dials come in all different colors. These just happen to be blue. I think you can get blue, black, green, yellow. You can get the dials in different colors. Master Lock makes these American. They're very, very popular at gyms and uh, high school. But uh, there they are, picked open. As always, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.